by showing the power of association with exalted devotees. One day, Maharaj Yudhisthira asked Aramuni some questions. You've been very kind to explain the proper behavior for Brahmachari, Vamaprasa, and Sanyas. But I have a question. Would you kindly tell how someone in the household order of life can live properly according to the Vedic injunctions? My dear King Yudhisthira, those who stay home as householders must act to earn their livelihood. But instead of trying to enjoy the results of those actions themselves, they should offer those results to Krishna. How to satisfy Krishna in this life can be fully understood by association with the exalted devotees of the Lord. A Grihasta must associate again and again with saintly persons in order to fully understand the position of a Grihasta. The first duty of a Grihasta is to be fully dependent upon Krishna and to try to satisfy him with devotional service. This devotional service depends upon the instructions of the spiritual master. The beginning of devotional service is called Shraddha, or hearing. One must hear from the mouth of pure devotees. In this way, the attraction to his wife and children will gradually be reduced. As for the maintenance of his family, a grihasta, while earning what he requires for a living, should not be overly eager to earn more money than necessary simply for sense gratification. A grihasta must always remember that one who is attempting to accumulate more wealth than necessary should be considered a thief and is punishable by the laws of nature. A Grihasta must treat all animals like his own children, and whatever he may possess, he should distribute equally to all living entities. The best process for this is to distribute Krishat. A Grihasta should not be overly attached to his wife but he should engage her in service to Krishna with all attention and to guests that come to the home. A Grihasta should only eat prasadam and he should travel to all the places of pilgrimages mentioned in the Puranas. In this way, a Grihasta should be fully engaged in worshipping the Supreme Lord, Sri Krishna. My dear King Yudhisthira, a person who has surrendered to the Supreme Lord, the, the ocean of nescience becomes like the water in the hoofprint of a cow. I will give you some examples of this from my own life. I existed as the Gandharva known as Rupa Vahana. I was very respected by the other Gandharvas. I had a beautiful face and a pleasing, attractive bodily structure. Decorated with flower garlands and sandalwood pulp, I was most pleasing to the women of our city. Thus, I was bewildered, always feeling lusty desires. Exalted Upavarna, there is a Sankirtan festival glorying the Supreme Lord coming this way, and all the Gandharvas and Apsaras are invited. Yes, yes. I too shall join the parade and add my beautiful voice to the rejoicing. 
service. Therefore, you may join us in our discussions of the absolute truth and the goal of life. Kajiva yeah. is by nature a servant of Krishna. Atmarati, or spiritual attachment to Krishna, is naturally present in your pure spiritual form. This attachment to Krishna is the goal of life. But one should not be complacent and think that bhakti will arise naturally of its own accord by some good fortune. Rather, one should endeavor greatly with eagerness to obtain atharati. First, you must give up all desire for reward-seeking activity by association with devotees. Soon, by such association, or deep faith will arise. Then you will become fit to assimilate Harikata and spiritual instruction. When such deep faith arises, you should take shelter of a Diksha Guru and receive the Sri Yugala Mantra. Having received this mantra, you should worship the Diksha and Siksha Guru with intense attachment or Atmarati. You should not be satisfied simply to offer respect to your Sri Guru Day. Oh, considering him to be a mere sage. Rather, you should serve him with love and devotion, as if accepting him as if he was your dearest friend and well wisher. Once you cultivate true attachment to Harinam and the mantra given by your Diksha Guru, Considering Sri Sri Radha Krishna Yugala to be your very life and soul, you should take shelter at their lotus feet. In this way, you can obtain <coughs> Prema Bhakti. Now it is time to rest. We will continue your instruction tomorrow.
Thus, during two seasons, the rainy season and autumn, I had the opportunity to hear these great devotees constantly chant the unadulterated glories of Lord Hari. As the flow of my devotional service began, the covering of the modes of passion and ignorance vanished. I was very much attached to those sages. I was gentle in behavior, and all my sins were eradicated in their service. In my heart, I had strong faith in them. I had subjugated the senses, and I was strictly following them with body and mind. You will not see me again. 
those who are incomplete in service and who are not completely free from all material taint can hardly see me. O oh, virtuous one, you have only seen my person once, and this is just to increase your desire for me. Because the more you hanker for me, the more you will be free from all material desires. Narayan. And Upa 
ऊपर ऑन आर लाइक एनी हाउ आई वन आई रिमेम्बर सो मेनी ड्रामा प्लेस द फ्लाइट इन बेजर एंड इन आवर परिक्रमा लाइक प्रहलाद चरित्र He began to sing to the so like <coughs> it had having so much teaching. Yeah, so.